Okay, um, I'm Squarks. Uh, due to popular-ish request, I am going to be reading The Spiderses by Argembarger. We're off to a good start, aren't we? Alright, this is chapter number for first. It was a beautiful spring deity in Equestria's when Tillet Sparkle was in her study where she lived. Spike, she said. Come here, Spike. And Spike came over to her. What do you want, Twilight? Spike said. And Twilight said, Spike, I need you to get to me the Book of Magic. Okay, Spike, I s said I... Jesus Christ, already. Okay, Spike said, I will get it for you. And when he went over to the bookshelf to get the book for Twilight Sparkle. It was a dusty book, and Spike almost sneezed. But he didn't. He gave the book to Twilight, and she said, Thank you, Spike. Go away now. And Spike said, Okay, I will go away, and he slid it away like a dragon. Twilight opened the book to chapter 5 and said, Okay, magic, please happen. And the magic began happening in her horn, in her horn, and she did the spell. It was a magic spell, and she knew that it was a magic which is why she casted it, because her cutie mark is magic, because she is a unicorn. The spell made everything bigger and ate. Why is everything bigger and ate? Twilight said. So, I'm sorry, Twilight said. Oh, it is because I am a spider now. Sad face. Spider Twilight went up to the bookshelves to find a fix spell to fix the spell. But she couldn't open two books, or even grab them, because she was a spider and not a unicorn, and her horn was gone, and also she did not have a voice that could speak loud enough for Spike to hear her and go get her book for and Even if she did, she probably wouldn't want Spike would see her as a spider and maybe get scared or angry and then stomp all over her, her which would make her dead spider twilight. Abd, that is bad. And then she heard a voice. Well, not really a voice, but it sounded like another spider. She awkward understand the spider clicks, and she knew that it was a spider, and that she had go and talk to this other spider, because that is what spiders do. Talk to other spiders. Of course, perfect logic right there. A red spider appeared and said, Hello, Twilight, I am Big Mac Spider now. Why? And Twilight Spider said, Uh, Big Mac Spider, it is because I casted a spell that wasn't wrong. And the big red Max Spider said, Okay, well, maybe, but can you fix that? And Twilight said, Sad face. Oh, okay, the red spider. Well, if we are going to be spiders forever, let's have spider sex. And Twilight said, Okay. Well, but I don't know how to have spider sex. And the big spider Mac Red said, It is probably easy, okay? Are you okay with this? I am asking permission to have spider sex with you. Twilight said, I don't know. Spiders are creepy and weird. And then Big Mac said, Twilight, we are spiders. And then Twilight said, oh, you have a point. Okay, I guess. We have to make the most of it, right? And then Big Mac said, this is the, that's the spirit. Okay. Oh, my God. Big Mac said, that is the spirit. Yes, okay, spider sex. They started to have spider sex, and it felt really weird for Twilight. But Twilight never even had normal, regular pony sex. So spider sex was the weirdest, most strange thing ever. It was like a crunchy potato chip bag full of chips got thrown into a chain link fence, and I don't know where this metaphor is gozing anymore. After the spider's sex, Twilight felt funny on the inside, like something real, not normal. Big Mac Spider said, Is it okay, Twilight Spider, if I live in here with you so we can have more spider sex? And Twilligity said, I don't know, I guess so, but I don't want to have spider sex for a while. That was weird, sad face. And Big Mac Spider Red said, This is okay. I will wait for you to be ready because I am a gentle spider. And Twilight said, Okay, I appreciate it. Oh my god. I've read this story before, but like reading it aloud hurts. It hurts me. Okay, that was chapter one. I'll wait till later to record chapter two. Jesus Christ.